You should write down. So setup wise, like I say, is good. I would mm -hmm. practice with the alignment sticks or the rubber bit on the yeah, mat, yeah. as I said. Putting something there to try and give yourself a vision of the club kind of coming back more mm -hmm. on this direction, whether it's sort of the tray of the goals on the outside, whatever mm -hmm. it may be. Also practice with the alignment stick, stick it at the end of the gold yeah, club, and, and then, then you sort of coming down, sort of brushing down sort of your left quad there from your yeah. left pocket down to your knee. That's going to give you the sensation. I don't know if you do it on this one here now, any takeaway movements. No, you're sure but even there now, the hands, looking at the, the path line of your previous shot, that's sort of an indicator where the, the hands are going back. Mm -hmm. The hands are now kind of working inside the club probably goes back straightest so, yeah. because that stick is affected on the inside. Okay, so that yeah. club's going back pretty much on line there, and that's good. Now your arms start lifting up, and even though you've gone back flatter, oh, your yeah. arms are still getting still quite high. Yeah? Quite, yeah, you're not you're not way behind you over your left over your right yeah. shoulder there. So now as you unwind, the club can come back from where your right bicep yeah. down to the right like forearm. That's an yeah, yeah. shoulder. Oh god, so it's, yeah, exactly. That's definitely come down lower. And then you come back in the golf ball now. Shafts on the ends of the golf ball. Mm -hmm. Shoulders now a square to target yep. at impact, and then releasing through ball can out <laughs> just right target yeah. or just left if needs be. Okay. Compare that to this one now, where the club goes oh, yeah, back. I mean, your hands almost hitting the, the the middle white yeah, on the screen there, like kind of the way out of the edge of the mat yeah. there. Yeah. So now at this point, the club's kind of here, and the hands are there. So you're yeah. way outside, but then the, then the arm then starts flattening off, and the top of your back swing is not really that much higher. Mm. So you haven't really mm. created a higher back swing. You just yeah. get a more outside and flatter. Now as you then that club now you can see okay. very, almost verticalizing from here. Yeah. That's, that's a word going, going steep. Yeah. Yeah. Verticalizing. Okay, Triance. getting very very <laughs> steep from here now and then going a little bit more through your sort of yeah, right shoulder rather than your bicep. Shoulder, yeah. Now as you're coming down, it's missing that forearm. As you come back in the golf ball now, is that sort of steepening up to the yeah. golf ball and the golf club, yeah. creating sort of toey strikes. Ball then as you come through now is going to be starting a bit more to the left unless you hold on to the golf club and the ball then starts over here yeah. somewhere and you get that kind of pushy cutty one, one, which is yeah. probably the one you'll go to yeah. if yeah. you just do not want to go over here somewhere. Mm. And that'll happen on a few odds where you just can't yeah. go left yeah. or you may have had a few pulley ones in a row where you just missed a few greens left and it just and like it will start answer. increasing you might miss the left side of the green mm -hmm. then left edge of the green then left bunker and then just, yeah. there'll be a few left left lefts going in there yeah. and you've got to solve this this will not go left and you'll be like Wee. yeah high right and shit as we said so so yeah work on that takeaway get the arms working in and then up okay so the yeah. arms are working and what it will do is actually get your 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 shoulder turn and your spine no, no. to work more on a flatter, more over the ball position yeah. rather yeah. than that kind of extended that tilted, tilted position. Yeah. Mm. So if your left shoulder, the takeaway when it goes back, is going down quite a bit here. Yeah. And you're getting stuck on this left side. Yeah. Your right leg can move back in. That's absolutely fine. You're going to turn your hips, but mm -hmm. you're going to end up kind of getting like yeah. that. And when and you're in, you if your spine angle is leaning towards target, mm -hmm. then when you unwind your body, now it's going to be very much sort of steepening up. That's where that club comes down very steep yeah. from the downswing position yeah. because you're just unwinding your shoulder on a tilted position. If you do that now, the club's no, coming outside. Yeah? yeah. If you've got that right shoulder flatter behind you, it's almost like that sort of that frisbee from here. You can do this or yeah. pebble skimming. If you're yeah. kind of there, there's not much you can just do. Just going to slam it in the ground, aren't yeah. you? So you're always trying to recreate sort of the angles you want, but in a third of a second, you're trying to adjust everything, and it's yeah. like, yeah. Never going to work. You get it right seven, eight, nine times out of ten, but the two times you don't, or one time you don't, it's yeah, possibly a bad shot and yeah. a miss green. So, yeah. So in with the handle, up with the arms, top of the back and there's really good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's daylight yeah, in your right better. knee now. I don't mind that because it means your right hips turn out the way. Yeah. 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 It's turning on a flatter angle so as you come back to goal. Now the club and coming out on a better plane. Mm -hmm. Start that ball right target. Get that little sort of cool. soft draw, soft fade, whichever yeah, way you want to shape it. You've got cool. control of that golf ball. Like I almost said, like one way or the other, not like wee, yeah. <laughs> and going that way. I think I would say that set up, try on the golf course with sort of shorter clubs. There's your set, just bring this hip back, this shoulder back, just to sort of. So if we sort of get your get shoulder point, set up to be, where would it be? Hang on, maybe about. And that's too much probably, yes, yeah. maybe the frame before, but have your sort yeah. of body in that position. So if the club was on the ground next to the ball there and your arm was a bit further forward, mm -hmm. now your club would come back on this side. Yeah. yeah. So you can sort of see a lot of shaping of an eight or a nine or a wedge in the corner there. It's like on the range, I can almost practice yeah. doing that. Yeah. And just just like, stand there fairly neutral, just turn the shoulders, neutral, just basically yeah. turn your top off, yeah? Because yeah. that's where the club's been swung from effectively, yeah. yeah? What these are doing is more just for comfort, really. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you can stand there with your feet like Lutrovino or over there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Don't make a lot of difference. Don't matter. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, okay, mate, makes sense? Cool. Yeah. Good man, very good. No